We often talk about the fun of shooting, the rewards of shooting, seldom the pressure of shooting. James Davis Cook is under pressure. Not only is he running an invitation day on his family shoot in North Wales with two cameramen filming his every move, he's also got to contend with Johnny from the TGS Outdoors YouTube channel ribbing him mercilessly. <laughs> Chopped liver. <laughs> yes, yeah, we're in college together. It's uh, Sparshall. Yeah, we're a keeper in course there. So I've been yeah. gamekeeping right. here for months and months and months. Oh, you're amazing. The pheasants are lovely. <laughs> <laughs> James isn't the only one feeling the pressure. Gary Doolan from Basque HQ has never had someone film him shoot before, and he's using a borrowed gun too. It's a Parati. It's a high tech ass. I've been lent it for the day while my gun is away so that's the first time i've uh, the first time i've shot him gorgeous gun on the first drive gary's at peg two on the side of a hill with the beaters going through the wood above gary doesn't hit much on that drive but like a true professional he's got his excuses ready so it was a good peg they're all difficult aren't they it was quite difficult uh, i was waiting for sort of clear sky on the birds uh, conscious of the beaters just on the brow of the hill um, so I don't think I saw a great deal in, in front. I hit one there, which is being picked up behind. So, yeah, it was okay. Nice to be out. Plenty of birds, but they seem to be on other pegs. On to the second drive, and just to add to Gary's problems, we've stuck a shot cam on his barrels. At least that should give him another excuse. Hit or miss, working his gun dog is a big part of Gary's day. Come on, a good girl. Maggie, uh, Springer Spaniel, she's four. I've had her almost a year. I've got another Springer at home who's a little bit too unruly for a, for a nice day like this. It's amazing, and to work a dog that's a, that's a good dog, the line of Spaniels goes back hundreds of years, doesn't it? It's just, it's a privilege to, to have them, really. At least Gary is getting some sympathy from Johnny about the pressure of shooting in front of the camera. Have you ever been film shooting before? It's, um, it's a bit horrible, isn't it? It's, 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 it's a pressure that not many people understand. You need to do it once, I think. Especially the shot cam ruins it completely. It ruins the balance of the gun. Yeah, yeah. yeah that was my excuse. That's my excuse. Barry Brief, it's a Welsh cake. It's a Welsh cake. It's a Welsh cake and it's a fruit cake. Um, um, it's traditionally eaten for tea and at Elevenses. Elevenses is a chance to catch up with James. He uses social media to promote the shoot but sees it as a mixed blessing yeah i mean social media is extremely good uh, and bad in well in a, in everything really but uh, you know it shows off some top class world class shoots but obviously they come with world class money as well you know so which is fine you know there's horses for courses but what people i think need to be is uh, realistic and you know if you're paying 30 pound a bird don't expect the brigands We've got some very good pheasants, but they're, they're not 60, 70 yarders. Some of them are possibly on a really good day, but the bulk could be anywhere between 30 and 50, I would think. Talking of social media, Gary is on his phone keeping up with what's going on at work. Today's a work day, so yeah. uh, I have checked my emails, but fortunately we're, uh, we're OK. Mark Avery's just tweeted that uh, he's lost on... Um, on Hen Harriers again in court. So I've just, uh, I've just sent a couple of emails on that. I've uh, got a really, really good team at Basque in terms of communications. Um, so there's always somebody in work, some, somebody manning the, manning the phones, if you like. So yeah, I, I try to keep on top of it. For most of us, a shoot day is a chance to switch off, but the guns want to know about Basque's Yeah, I don't work. mind that. And, 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 you know, members pay our wages. Uh, I'm always happy to, always happy to talk to people. And, and our work is also what we do in our own time, which is shooting. So people will always want to speak to us. I've just been asked today about lead and steel, and I'll always uh, have a conversation and, and, and give my opinion, which on, on, on this is actually Basque's same opinion. You know, it's about... Future of future of sustainable ammunition, but there's there's a whole variety of things people talk to me about dogs or uh, bird flu that we're dealing with at the minute. And what I'll always say is, and all Bass staff will, you know, I might not, I might work for Bass, but not 
an expert on everything. So we'll always try to pass people on and, and, and take details on things. As, as an ex-journalist, I've probably got um, an opinion on, on everything. Um, so I'm happy to, happy to chat and it's shutting me up, she's usually the problem. Gary is tempted to switch to his own gun, but for now, he's sticking with the borrowed Parazzi. Well, I'm feeling the pressure as it is without changing guns midway through. And that sounds very pretentious that I can change guns, but that's actually my gun. Yeah. Uh, there's, my, there's my excuse. Uh, I've never shot with it before. A uh, bit of a schoolboy error, I think. Maybe if we, if we get a fourth drive, I might just get the other one out just for the, yeah. just for the hell of it. After that performance, Gary gives in to temptation. He switches to his hammer action 16 bore for the last drive, where we're expecting to see some high ducks. Bike hole. Bought off Bill Harriman, no less. So, uh, I don't know whether he'll say he saw me coming, but. <laughs> Let's see. Well, the change of gun didn't help much, but Gary has enjoyed his day all the same and learned some useful lessons too. So don't let a man film you while you don't, shoot uh, Don't let a man film you. Don't let him put a camera on the end of your gun. Uh, don't come out on a day like this with a, a gun you've never, you've never used before. Just get on, enjoy your day and um, do the best you can. And gorgeous day. Uh, the weather's been fantastic for this time of year. We're in a beautiful location. Uh, plenty of birds for people to, you know, plenty of sporting birds for people to, to have a go at. Uh, and I think anybody that sort of decries shooting should come on a day like this and you get to see what it's all about. You know, the beasts that pick us up, the guns, the social side of it. It's just been, it's been a fantastic day. You know, it's what shooting's all about days like this. And tomorrow are you back at your desk? Uh, tomorrow I'm back at my desk um, and we've, we've got a few things going on. Uh, but I'm back out beating on Friday and it doesn't sound like I'm out beating all the time, which is I've got a bit of leave and taking, but there's a lot going on at the moment. You've mentioned Packham and Avery, but judicial reviews and wild justice and, and we're still working hard uh, with Aim to Sustain and still trying to uh, push that good news out through Aim to Sustain. So there's a lot going on, yeah. If you'd like to shoot at Guasani Sporting, you can find them on Facebook, link in the description below, or via Guns on Pegs. To find out more about Basque's work, go to basque.org.uk.